Reuters World No. 1 Dustin Johnson humbled Brooks Kopka in a third-round shootout at the WGC HSBC Champions in Shanghai on Saturday to take a six-stroke lead over his compatriot into the final day of the $9.75 million £7.4 million event. File photo October 1, 2017 Jersey City, New Jersey, USA Dustin Johnson tees off on the first hole during the final round singles matches of the President's Cup Golf Tournament at Liberty National Golf Course. Mandatory credit Kyle Teradousa today sport shaving teed off a stroke ahead of U.S. Open champion Kopka, overnight leader Johnson burned away from his playing partner to a composed 4 under 68 as most of his rivals battled on a breezy day at Cheshire Golf Club. Kopka had snatched the lead with a birdie on the first hole and extended it to two strokes by the third but the 27-year-old imploded with a triple bogey on the par 5 eighth and finished the day fuming after a scratchy 73. The long-hitting Johnson moved to a 17-under total of 199 and nothing short of miracle should stop the 2016 U.S. Open winner from notching his third WGC title of the year. Third-placed Henrik Stenson will tee off seven strokes behind Johnson after shooting 69, with major winner Justin Rose 72 and Brian Harmon 70 a shot further back on 9-under. Having torn up the course with a new putter on Friday, Johnson stumbled with a bogey on the first hole to surrender the lead but hit back with a birdie on the second and proceeded to apply a blowtorch of pressure on Kopka. Johnson drew level after birdies at 4 and 7, and Kopka duly crumbled at the 8, driving into the trees on the left. Worse was to come for Kopka, who from the middle of the fairway, put his fourth shot into a thicket of trees left of the green and had to traipse some 70 meters back to take a drop shot. Johnson had also miscued his approach to the left but was saved from the trees by a fortunate bounce. He then rubbed salt into Kopka's wounds by rolling in a sublime, breaking 20-foot putt for birdie. Kopka's misery was complete when he missed his double bogey putt from 8 feet to plunge four strokes behind. Johnson opened the door with a double bogey on the par 4 10th but promptly slammed it shut by birdieing two of the next four holes. Kopka battled to keep in touch but the pressure showed as he skanked his tee shot on the par 5 18th into a bunker and snapped at fans for using their mobile phones. He then blasted his second shot out of the sand straight into the water hazard on the right, his tournament hopes sinking as quickly as the ball on the way to his third bogey. Reporting by Ian Ransom in Melbourne Editing by Amlin Chakraborty Your Standards D. Thomson Reuters Trust Principles